I'm just sort of my hair. Oh, this whole thing? It's just my brand new tattoo. What if I spit on your tune, I'll boss it! What's going on guys, Cameron Fitness here and I'm back with a brand new video so if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave this video with a like. So I've been quite busy recently, I've had a lot going on in terms of business, in terms of my own training but finally back with a brand new video and this time it's focusing on a back workout but also showing off a new tattoo. So yeah, it's my first proper tattoo that I've got across my forearm but that was absolutely nothing compared to this. In total it was about an 8 hour sitting and the last hour was, it was rough, not gonna lie. So you've got the warrior headband, you've got the last just at the back, you've also got the skeleton, and then in the rib cage, which not a lot of people notice at first, you've got a wolf. So the meaning behind it, which is a big question a lot of people with tattoos get, is there's a warrior inside everyone. Mainly kind of just what I went through at the beginning of the year, I just thought, you know what, it were a nice fit. So originally I was just going to get it black and white, but I went and spoke to my tattoo artist, really, really top guy, and uh, he said he had some really interesting ideas for different colourways and stuff. And honestly, I couldn't be happy with how it turned out. I'm just excited to get the rest of the sleeve done now. But now the main focus of the video is my back workout. I uploaded a picture on Instagram a couple of days ago, and I got quite a few messages asking what my back workout is because my back progress recently has come on absolutely massively. When training back, there's loads of different sections you need to focus on. You've got your traps, you've got your overall back, you've got your lats, and you've got your lower back. So it's just about getting a good combination of exercises to target all of them. But with me, the thing that's really changed it is just focusing on my mind to muscle connection and that squeeze during each rep. So a big thing when I used to train back is I wouldn't focus on the squeeze at all. I'd literally just focus on shifting as heavy weight as I possibly could. But now I've kind of slowed down each movement, really focused on that squeeze and really focused on that stretch. My back has come on leaps and bounds. And for me, a big factor has been focusing more on my compound exercise, so my bent over row. So I lowered the weight load made sure I was hitting each contraction with a maximal squeeze and when I say that I mean squeezing my shoulder blades together as hard as I possibly can and in terms of my back thickness and also my width it's come on massively. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a back workout, show you a couple of different exercises that I train and use and hopefully you guys will see some decent improvements as well. And I'm also going to show you a little bit of what I've been eating recently because currently I'm wearing the heaviest I've ever been and I'm a good stage through the bulk so weights are going up. Let's go! So it's quite past five in the morning, I've got some morning clients soon so Time to get some calories down there. I'm not gonna lie, don't like eating at this time in the morning. But gotta get some calories down there. So this is a nice easy meal. And uh, you can prep it the night before as well, so it only takes two minutes. So got some overnight oats, got some Greek yogurt and frozen fruit. So you just leave it overnight and then the frozen fruit will defrost. And uh, it's actually quite nice, but as I said, I'm not really a big fan of eating at this time in the morning. I literally just have to force it down there. So like I said, I don't really like making anything in the morning. I haven't really got the time in the morning, so I just can't be bothered. So maybe this and that before. Go downstairs, straight away have it, and now I'll finish it off. Nice cup of tea. It comes and goes in ways It always does Always Okay, now ready to get to the gym for the first client. Just got to the gym, ready for the first session of two, so I will catch up with you after them sessions and we'll get on to the next meal. Just got home, a little bit more awake now and it's time for my first proper meal. Okay, so there's some of the meals that I have in the morning, make sure I'm getting a decent amount of carbs, decent amount of protein, uh, and also stacking up on my calories because average on a day I need to hit about 3,500. So for the time being, that's all I'm gonna show you in terms of the meals I have before I train. And now it's time to go into the gym, hit a back workout, and these are some of the highlights from it. Let's go! Wait, it 
far and some help I played it and I was dealt Facts. You come from a family of wealth I had to grab it myself Facts. I earned all three of those trophies On my own cabinet shelf Are you mad? In economy Are you thinking mad? about first class Cause I ain't your average now let me holiday, where they send comes back with a suntan Be a gunshot, man, I won Your family talking to stone like the aunt's back Six shots, one man Look at the size of this thing, Arnold Schwarzenegger Couldn't hold it with one and 23 ops couldn't jump, man I'm wicked and bad Come true, swing in the back You wanna fight with your fist and feet? Who that visit Japan? This go clickety-clack And I know man flicking a shack I ain't got a number for Mark Morrison But I'm ringing the Mac so guys, that is the end of the vlog. Again, I'll just reiterate, when training your back, you need to get a good combination of hitting your lats, hitting your traps, and hitting your overall back. A massive change for me was just focusing on the squeeze with the bent over row, which is a massive compound exercise when trying to grow your back. I can't recommend enough focusing on your progressive overload with the bent over row. So, once again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave this video with a like, and I'll see you next time. Peace!